So they have video pictures of the aftermath of Ashanti's sister and basically uh, the surgeries in which she... Anyway, let's get to the video, but slow bucks, I don't know what to tell you, man, but I, I don't think I could ever... I don't, some men wouldn't even be able to put their hands on another man like that, nevertheless a woman. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Aight, so, yeah. So, apparently, we have uh, some of the footage that Slowbucks had to go through. Uh, well, was, you don't go through footage, right? I mean, I guess you are if you're like reviewing something. Anyway, we have some of the footage from uh, Slowbucks, I guess, court appearance or whatever the hell you want to call this. He had to go in and speak to some people with his lawyer. And we have some of that footage. So uh, we're going to show the footage. And then also, the footage shows uh, the aftermath, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, of Ashanti's sister. I think her name is. Kanishia? K Kana I don't know. Somebody phonetically write it in the comment section or something, because I'm never going to get this one. Anyway, uh, right back. As you can obviously see from that footage, that looks terrible. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you, right? When I hear about people talking about, like, domestic violence that turns physical, I don't really envision much more than, you know, even if it gets bad, I envision, like, a bruise or two, and you're like, oh, man, how the hell could you have done that to her? You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, without a shadow of a doubt, go to, go to, go, you know, go to my grave today, and when I get to the pearly gates... Hopefully. <laughs> but when I get to the pearly gates and they're doing the checklist on uh, what I have done, good or bad, you know, while during my time here on earth, none of those things will involve me injuring a female to the point where she has bruises. Period. That's not going to happen. So to see how he knocked the teeth out, homie. Like, she had to get, that doesn't even look like he knocked the teeth out only to me. That looks like she had to get, like, surgery on her jaw. He might have broke her jaw. Like, how do you hit a woman that hard, homie? Like, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, y'all leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all think about this. That That's horrific to me. I don't know what to tell you. That looked bad. And then, besides the fact that how badly, no, badly, how bad that looked. Besides the fact of how bad that it looked. How are you going to tell me that you was in love with this person at one point or another? You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing that kills me. Like, you ever see those parents, like, all parents beat their kids, right? I mean, you got to beat your kids. The Bible says, spare the rod, rot the child. So, there is supposed to be a certain level of physical discipline that you give your child. But if you love your child, you're not going to harm your child to the point that your child is injured. Can we understand that for a second? That there's a difference between um, discipline and abuse. So my point is, I don't see how you could say that you love this woman if you're gonna put your hands on her to that degree. Um, I, I if I could understand threatening, just so we can be clear on this, I can understand a person being in an emotional state and there being an argument going on, and both parties or one of the parties threatens the other party. I could 100% believe this. I could even go in with the the person threatens the individual and all the way up into the actual deed and then chickens out or never really planned on doing it anyway. I can even get with that, right? Because you're in an emotional 
point. You're, 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 you're thinking emotionally and you're, you're, you're clouded. You understand what I'm saying? So I can understand that. But to actually put your hands on someone that you profess your love to at one point or another and injure them purposely in any way, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't. I, there's no coming back from that. There's coming back from threats to me. All right. I've have I've been threatened in some of the most horrific manners that you could imagine a person being threatened in. Hell, I've said a couple of things that I wish I didn't say. But in no point will you ever find that I was busy beating on no woman or anything along those lines. So me, myself, I can't understand how in one moment they like a fiance, this is fiance or something. And in the next moment, she needs to go get dental surgery because allegedly, allegedly, he put the smack down on her. So let me know what y'all guys think. Um, I don't even think there's a, I'm pretty sure that he has some kind of defense to this. I don't even understand what kind of defense you could give, just to be honest with you, just to keep it a whole stack. Um, I don't understand what kind of defense you're supposed to give for a situation like this. Oh yeah, judge. Yeah, I know, you know, I'm a lot stronger than this person and a lot taller and you know, me being a man and them being a woman and them not being a fighter and me just inherently being a man which makes me more physically adept at defending or causing harm to someone else well yeah you know yeah i don't think that that's none of that should matter <laughs> so i don't i don't really understand where they're going with this but i do know that um it's looking bad for homeboy and if it is what it looks like it should look bad leave the comments down in the comment section i want to know what you guys think about this also once again who else thinks that um, Ja Rule or at least somebody from the Murder Camp, Murder Inc. camp should have should have spoke on this before they gave Fifty Cent the opportunity to um now pioneer and grandstand this whole situation? Shout out to Fifty Cent by the way, because I wouldn't even have known about this shit. Shout out to Fifty. Um, <laughs> somebody left in a different video. That hold on, I'm gonna read the exact comment because I, I wanna. I, I don't usually do this. Okay, I do not usually do this, but I had a previous video and I want to read the exact comment. Check this out, and I'm not even saying <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Just so we could be clear, I'm not saying I disagree with homie. But um, Paul Strawn says um, I don't know, bro. Fifty still seem like he's only doing it if it benefits his name as well. He gets mentioned. He is a hero. And I'm not buying it because this man is straight disrespectful to women. So I ain't even going to say Ja and Gotti got to do anything. Public shit seems personal and private to share to me, in my opinion. Right? So that's what uh, Homeboy left, right? Um, and then I left the comment saying, yes, uh, this does make him look good. Can't argue. But the point is, I don't care if it makes him look good. If somebody attacked me. And left me beaten and bruised and scarred and ripped up. And I had to go to the hospital and get all type of different surgeries. I don't care what kind of night comes to my help. Whether it's the white night, the black night, the rainbow night, the freaking, the day night. I don't care what kind of night comes to my defense or comes to my uh, aid. I, but I'm hoping the night does. So with 50 Cent speaking on this particular topic... I don't care if he has a, an agenda. I don't even know if he does or doesn't. He probably does because, you know, he hates Ja Rule. But I don't care if he has an agenda. This is one of those situations where we needed somebody to talk up and do something. And we needed some light shined on this. If you're going to be a grown-ass man out there beating on your woman to the point, like, once again, couples get into fights, okay? Couples push shove there might be a slap or two i'll be lying to if you i tell you i've been slapped numerous times i didn't really care i mean it's a woman but i've been slapped numerous times but when you injure just a spouse i don't care if it's a man or a woman if you injure somebody that you have professed to love to this degree i don't care who's coming to her aid all right Let's clap it up for 50. I want everybody to put um 
clapping emojis down there in the comment section for 50 cent that's a whole fact i don't care if this is an agenda let's protect our women like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes please leave a comment all comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?